As usual, this is a disclaimer. All shown ethical hacking and cybersecurity tips on this channel are for educational purpose only. Do not use any technique or method shown here on networks or machines that do not belong to you. Otherwise, you may expose yourself to legal actions. To help this channel, please subscribe, activate the bell, like, and share this video. Thank you for watching. Please help the channel by donating via Tupin or any other donation tool. You can also purchase goodies if they are available. Thank you very much for your support. Hello and welcome to this video. Today we are going to explore the privilege escalation on Linux. So, I am going to follow up on a scenario where I have a user account on a server but I do not have administration rights and I would like to gain a root access without asking the server administrator. So as a reminder, this is for educational purpose. Obviously, do not try this on a production server because it is illegal. So to process this scenario, I am going to use a compromised virtual machine. I am going to use the version 15.04 of the Ubuntu server. This is a compromised version that will allow me to exploit a vulnerability on the server by executing a malicious code to gain root access. So now I'm going to start the virtual machine. Alright, so the server is up. I'm going to log in with my user account. John. As the virtual machine window do not have an enhanced input, I'm going to connect to it via SSH. So I'm going to figure out the IP address, which is 192.168.1.53. So I'm going to connect alright so I am connected to the virtual machine as a simple user so let's check who am I so I'm John and let me see what I can find in the home directory. So my account and the administrator account synered in. So if I try to read data from the administrator, no data. Okay, if I try to make a directory, I cannot do that because I am not an administrator. So let me try sudo. If I give my password, still I cannot do it because I'm not in the CDR file and the incident will be reported. Okay, so this is proof that I'm not the administrator of the server. So now I'm going to try to gain the root access to the machine. To do that, I'm going to do some enumerations, like I'm going to check the host name, okay. So that's already uh, interesting. This is giving me enough information to look for a glitch that I can exploit on this version of the Linux kernel. Okay, so I could search the internet using a web browser about an exploit for this kernel, but uh, it can even be more easier if I use AI. So I'm going to try the AI. Okay, so looks like there is one exploit that has been referenced. Let's check it. Okay, it seems to be a critical exploit. And on exploit database, they even give a C++ code to run the exploit. Okay, so I'm going to try to use this code. I will go back to 
to my folder So to exploit this C++ code, I need a compiler. So let me check. Okay, that's perfect. I have a compiler available on the server. So I'm going to create a file, ofs.c. That's perfect. ofs.c. So I'm going to copy all the code. Well, okay, I do not need the comments because this is useless, I will just take the code So now I have pasted all the C++ code. I'm going to save it and quit. Then I'm going to compile the code. Oh, that was easy. Okay, so let's execute. So as you can see, my prompt have changed and obviously I became an administrator. Let's check that. Okay, I'm root. So I can go now to the administrator. I can make the directory. I can run administration code. So I have taken over the server with a simple exploit available on exploit database. So again, please do not do this on any server that do not belongs to you because it is illegal. What I have shown to you now is, is just for educational purpose only. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. To help this channel, please subscribe, activate the bell, like, and share this video. Thank you for watching.